I wanted to, um, I wanted to throw in a couple of like personal sort of like anecdotes. As I've been a researcher at SICRI, I think a conversation that comes up quite a bit is um, what does what does Sikhi say about sexuality? Um, especially when I was doing the teen course, that was a, a big topic of conversation um, and something that I think her and their saying and I have both found in in a lot of ways when it comes to sexuality, people will like kind of ask you ask you in like hushed tones or they'll look for like very clear moral pronouncements or they'll be given moral pronouncements in the case of the the teenagers where it's like they they thought the sick understanding of of like sexuality was just you can't have sex before marriage like that's it um so there's no sort of like nuancing or or like complete understandings of how words like gom are used in the guru granth sahib um how like the metaphor of union with ikongar is often um the metaphor of like going to the divine's bed or like union with the divine is is common um and so i think like it's a thing that we were thinking about over like a long time like maybe years <laughs> um because of what we were finding both in like the teen spaces and the young adult and like older older spaces as well um i think like even within our closed circles we we're like uncomfortable bringing these things up because we don't want that judgment um, we're afraid to ask certain questions and so you know sexuality is a thing that's a part of all of our lives no matter what so so that's i think that's why we really felt the need to address it um as far as drafting the report i think yeah we were kind of just thinking through the questions that we've been asked so a big thing in the teen class was like what is scum like what does that even mean um what is lust what is like is it the same as sex are they synonymous um is there a difference what is love how is love explained in gurbani um and then also there's questions about sexual orientation that come up too so like sexual preference sexual orientation um where where do we fall on that um is there a clear moral pronouncement and that came up again with the teens <laughs> so so i think um those major questions kind of uh sort of centered us in some kind of trajectory of like how we were going to read through these things how we we're going to think through these things what nuances we felt we needed to add um and yeah so the the purpose of the report that we kind of came up with in discussion was like we want to understand sexuality in the context of a sick world view and we want to see we want to understand how like sikhi shapes our human behavior when it comes to that but also like how does how does the way that we view this integral part of like our our experiences as humans how do we view that in connection to like how we sort of conceive of relationships morality spirituality and like whether or not we should be placing judgments on people these are all things that are connected to this topic so um those were things that we kind of thought through and then the first i think major thing we had to do was define what sexuality was in the context of the report so we were very clear and we said um it's it encompasses both how one experiences sexual and romantic attraction if at all because some people don't um and then two one's interest in and preferences around sexual and romantic relationships and behavior so i i literally just read that off of the, of the report because i think that is really important to get very clear right off the bat um but yeah so those those are the things that we thought through and the reasons behind um behind feeling that it was is important for us to write on this topic